I don't know how. Welcome out. I like I pictured me going like green couch, and it's just like green couch, like magical. Hey YouTube, welcome. I don't like that. Yeah, you don't have it to say that. Just sounds so. Hey. hey. Hey everybody. What's, What's up? up? <laughs> What's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Instagram? And everywhere in between, welcome to the Green Couch. Green Couch. Which, as you can see, <laughs> this will we'll be taking place. Fun conversations. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I say that? This right? is where we're we'll taking place. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to uh, be having uh, conversations here. Yeah. Fun conversations. Educational. Heavy conversations. Deep. Probably fight each other. Probably. It's like it's like Samuel and Jackson beer. What? How's it taste, mother? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to get a feel of what it's like to talk to a camera while talking to each other. While talking to each other and talking to. And the audience. audience right hey my name is shy um i'm alec yes this is my handsome boyfriend i know you <laughs> anyways you guys <laughs> we decided to come up with the green couch because we feel it's very important for us to understand the climate that we are in in today's society um we came up with the green couch idea a while ago a while ago way before new year's and it's mostly conversations that will be taking place about everything everyday life i would say i guess yeah well we both honestly have a passion with talking about what's important and so we decided to come it's not a talk show it's just more so of like a personal conversation that you will have at home in your car with your best friend that you're talking to while you're on your lunch break just kind of bring that to life um love career um fears fears yes anger uh, anger mental health emotions loud noises anyways so welcome to the green couch yeah so the green couch is just a plethora. A, <laughs> a what? A plethora. <laughs> Stop. All right. We don't really want to offend too many people. No, we want to keep it light. But, but it may happen. Probably. It's going to be topics that we find interesting. And mm -hmm. some of them are heavy. Yeah. Some of them are intense. Yeah. We're kind of an intense couple. Yeah, we have a lot of <laughs> debates. Yes. Soft. I wouldn't say arguments, but. A soft argument. <laughs> That's just to lighten it up just a little bit. So, what are we talking about today? We're talking about today. Dead air. Uh, we're talking about taking a leap of faith, you guys. Kind of going for your, um, what is it? Like your dreams, your aspirations, and not taking no for an answer. Creating your own opportunities. Because, I mean, you we come up, especially if you're creative, you come up with so many different ideas. And you really don't know where to begin. I think that's the hard part. Um, I've always been told uh, ideas are a dime, dime a dozen. Yeah. Um... And so it is, it's like, you can have ideas all day, and if you never act upon them, they're not going to be anything. Right. Again, having this a plan, is a pilot. Again. Having a plan of uh, what you want to do, you know, you can have your ideas, but if you don't go about it strategically, yeah, uh, you might just be all over the place. Yeah, you don't want to be all over the And that's place. with That everything. scares you. Uh, you get scared because you don't know how to plan it. Like, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know about him, but I'm nervous. I'm not even talking to anybody right about now. About this? <laughs> yeah. I'm and nervous. I'm just very nervous on, like, 
is this going to come across the way you know you imagine it the way that we imagine it um well, and i feel like sometimes that that'd be the setback if we're going to talk about fears and introducing ourselves to the opportunity that we want it's scary it is um you got to just start making those those leaps and i had to do it myself some of the first videos i put out you know looking back at them weren't that great um although now looking back at them it still is like you know what they're not bad they're not they're and not, but you're your worst critic exactly that's the thing like um, you become you become so critical of everything that you're doing you, that's what holds you back too like you just say you know what maybe this is not what life has in store for me and so you kind of go into this it's just like a whirlwind of like I need to be what society says I need to be like and that's a big one like I mean we're social creatures and especially with with social media um, you see what other people put out there and sometimes you know there's people out there who are much more confident than you but much less talented than you yeah but they have that confidence to start selling themselves and they'll start getting to where you should be because you should believe in yourself. But it's like, if you don't start practicing, if you don't start putting yourself out there, if you don't start being vulnerable, letting yourself be critiqued. That's yeah. that's a hard one too. Having other people around you critique you. I would just turn up the bass a little high in my You hate ass nigga. Nobody give a fuck with your dumb ass thing. Don't get mad, just do. do you gotta it. start somewhere. And that's it, don't don't get discouraged that that person is better than you because that person might have been doing it for 10 years. Yeah. That means they got a decade ahead of you. Right. That doesn't mean you're not talented. That doesn't right. mean you're not good. That just means they've had nine extra years to learn what you're trying to learn. And stop comparing ourselves. Just oh my God, I have a problem with that. Like I have a problem with feeling like, cause I dance, I love to dance. It's one of my, it's like a God given gift. And a passion. And a passion. We all carry, I feel like a gift in us. And yeah, someone may be a little bit more talented, talented than you, but you'll get there. You get what I'm saying? So never down or doubt yourself because what it is that you have, no one has. And it's almost like easier said than done. Yep. But who am I to even say this? It's it's almost just like affirmation for myself too as I'm speaking. Even life situations around you just stops you because you just feel like I can't think about Unfortunately, they make it seem like your dreams are so far fetched that it's not considered reality. Everybody around you just seems to like sometimes get under your skin or say that like, "Oh, you can't or you can, or you should. If I was you, I would do it this way. It would even be those type of comments that just creates all these kind of thoughts in your head that hinders you. But I feel like you kind of put this unnecessary stress on yourself when you kind of forget about um, what's good for you. I mean, everything that your mind can conjure up, um, if it's not negative, it's good for you and you. we should try. Don't worry about what the random stranger down, you know, over there thinks about you. Right. Don't worry about what your best friend thinks. Don't worry about what your family thinks. Right. Do what's best for you and healthiest for you. Maybe not necessarily what you want to do all the time, because trust me, I've done some things that I've wanted to do, yeah. looking back and regretting them. But yeah. do what is best for you yeah so look at it oh, look at it closely have some thought behind it i think yeah. that's a big problem with our Planet. our society right now is like yeah. we're a microwave generation oh. we're an instagram generation and we're so quick to just jump into something without without setting it up you know you kind of have to have patience with yourself and and take your time plan things out um write down your goals write down just i feel like writing it down just kind of always brings things to pass is once you write it down it kind of makes it set in stone it helps you organize That's your thoughts it. you've got ideas for days and they're scattered to the four winds because yeah. you know and you want to do everything 
And then you're like, oh my God, can I do it? Yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, just because you can't do it today, don't get discour- discouraged that you can't do it a few years from now. Yeah. Like, if it's a great idea, it'll be a great idea yeah. later. And maybe you'll understand how to do it better yeah. later as well. Timing is everything, I think. I think, like, when you... The, I feel like the reason why sometimes there's a hold back in our lives um, it's because it's just the timing was, isn't right for that moment. Man, when you get to that moment and you just feel it, like you're like, yeah, this makes sense to me. I, my thoughts are 100% clear. I can vocalize what I want to say, put it into words or put it into dance, put it into music, like whatever it is that you are as far as a creative, like maturity and timing is everything like although it's everything sometimes i feel like unsureness Mm -hmm. is a good sign of you doing the right thing the right thing always do the right thing but i agree with you being like confident in yourself yeah confident yeah yeah confidence in your situation as well um but sometimes that 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 unease that uncomfort that's what's gonna push you into doing what you want to do um to being like well it's either this or nothing right that will push you to follow your dreams um and i feel like i've heard that with i mean push it real good push it real good i feel like xing out what people think doing it because it's what you love to do having confidence in you taking your steps and 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 keeping it at that stop i feel like because now it's just like oh i gotta get on social media it's a new way to create an income i just want money like when you're looking for things in return in my opinion i feel like it kind of slows down your blessing some people it works that way for them you know what i'm saying like jim carrey for for example but he wrote a check that said he wanted a million dollars and it came to fruition but that being said i feel like he has a genuine passion for what he yeah. does and he has a genuine talent as well yeah. so yes he was looking for a financial gain like some of my most favorite musicians some of the people the the artists or the comedians that i think are the best mm-hmm. are those ones that have a legitimate passion for what they do and that passion comes out in what they're creating yeah. when someone creates something for money and if they know the, if they know the strategy if they know the the plan they can create a hit they can create something mm-hmm. poppy they can create something that makes music yeah um no like shade you know but cardi b kept talking about that on um was that show you're watching love hip hop no what happened oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi uh, B was on another show? Yeah. With T.I. and Chance, and Chance the Rapper, Rapper and Cardi B. Netflix. But yeah. she kept talking about, like, you know, you need to do this, this, and this to make a popular song. And she right. she had the blueprint gets, for it. Right. And she right. has the blueprint for right. making that. And I'm not saying that she doesn't have a passion behind making music. And there's nothing wrong with making money. I just feel like it stresses you out when you make that. that the forefront. When you... You know, there's some struggling artists, bro. We, st- <laughs> you looking at? Them. And that's, there's some beauty in that too. It you know? is, especially with the come up, like oh when God, someone finally yeah. breaks through. Oh, and and that's the thing. It's like, man, you gotta be around some hungry people like you, if if anything, um, and keep yourself around some grounded people because if it's just one, you can't. I mean, you can. It's possible for you to do things by yourself, but. I think you need a great team and I think you need someone that's just going to keep encouraging and watering your seed, your soil while you water theirs. Like like my baby likes to say is like iron sharpens iron. Um, Don't be afraid to collaborate with people. I think like Oh yeah. I'm we're s- like our society is yeah. so competitive and it's funny yeah. like I played sports. I played football growing up. Are you sure, Coach? Just go, goddammit! I know I don't look like it, but I, I played football growing up. Um, I've never really been that competitive. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, I would rather work with someone so that we can both eat than yes. fight against someone so that I can eat. I might yeah. eat less, but at least we're both getting fed. And I know that I'm going to get fed 
because if I lose to that competition, I'm not getting fed. And that's the yeah. reality. So I'd rather work, you know, why be a crab in a bucket? You find new people. You find yeah. people that really, Fit that will you. work with you better. Mm -hmm. Like a friend that I had, who he is very much pursuing his own career. He's in the same spot. Um, he's a aspiring musician. He's been doing it since high school. Um, I shot some videos for him and I realized me and him work really well together. We can create content together. Yeah. We just like, we mesh well. The right people will come to you. The right, everything, everything that is supposed to happen will happen if you just keep trying. I feel like practice makes perfect. Practice your craft, practice what it is that you love. And yeah. it comes from love, you know? Yeah. We come from we come from love love is so important if you believe in you know god or a higher power or anything like that like right. even if you don't like right. love is like the most important thing like that's what's going to keep us together that's what's going to keep our world from burning practice being better to one another and so i feel like with the green couch we're just gonna keep pushing forward and being open with our conversations and including everyone that will tune in in these conversations because we feel like they are necessary um, especially for the time that we're in um, in my opinion in order to become a better you leave and leave the footprints that you see that yourself leaving before you close your eyes man has to do with a lot of practice. Love yourself, love what you do, stay true to what you do, and stay focused on that. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's what you leave behind for the generations behind, you know, in front of us, right? Yeah. A wise person plants a tree that they'll never sit under the shade of. And that's real. So, you know, put seeds out there that you may never reap the benefits for that's a leader yeah. that's a leader quality that's someone who will build for other people yes that's a real leader yo we have so many <laughs> topics you guys we have so much that we want to talk about everything is not going to be so serious because we um like your father likes to say don't stress the little things um try to have some fun and enjoy life yes enjoy life yeah. Watch the green couch. you might disagree with some of the things we have to say but um but i think that the conversations that make you uncomfortable the living situations that make you uncomfortable for example pushes you to make a change and that's the point it's time it's time for us to change some things that we feel like we're we're capable of changing we all have opinions so we want to see your opinions in the comments we want to see if you like it if you dislike it make us uncomfortable i'm you know like it's not that i like debates but i do enjoy understanding why someone chooses to think that they do um this again this is anti-hate um so if you about to be under those comments nasty, I will try my best to control myself. Thank you. <laughs> also, comment if you got any uh, topics that you want us to cover. Um, you know, we oh, can come yeah. up with a lot of stuff, but you guys might have a lot more. Yeah. Or y'all, be inclusive. Y'all might have a lot more um, things to, for us to talk about. Uh, yeah. We definitely have a lot more loaded up and ready to go. So hopefully we will get... <laughs> We'll get more videos out to you and yeah. they're going to become more frequent. You know, not everybody is going to agree. Not everybody's going to watch The Green Couch. But it's for who is meant to be for. Just like what's for you is meant to be for you. So appreciate. Appreciate what's yours. And we hope that you guys enjoy what we have to offer, right? But thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Um, yeah. On the green couch. Yes, share, comment, like. <laughs> On the green, green couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry.